Kunden. Welcome to Blind Quest, the Frost Demon. Blind Quest, the Frost Demon. Written by Ivan Venturi and Massimo de Pasquale. Text by Ivan Venturi and Pier Francesco Cantelli. Audio and music by Mariana Morgia. Cover music by Max de Freya. Voice by David McCallion. Additional coding by Alessandro Carazza. Store icon art by Marco Sessa. Produced by Mirko Venturi. Directed by Massimo de Pasquale. Thanks to our testers, Tiziano Ferraro, Stefano Enea Cabra, Elia Graselli, Manuel Banini, Luke Hewitt, Piotr Machach, Joel Perez, and Douglas Roberto. Copyright 2020, Audio Game Association. Swipe left to continue a previous game. Swipe right to start a new game. Tap to listen to the credits. Press control for two seconds to skip the cutscenes. In the map, press left alt key to hear combat instructions. The new battle system is here. During the fight, when the enemy attacks, he starts a combo. At the start of the enemy's turn, you will have some anticipation about the direction of his blows. But take care. An attack can be fast or heavy. A fast attack must be dodged by pressing the arrow of the opposite direction of the hit, and a heavy attack must be blocked, pressing the arrow of the same direction of the hit. You will be able to distinguish fast from heavy attacks based on their pitch. Fast attacks will be sharper, heavy attacks lower. Every three enemies blows, and at the end of the enemy's combo Nathan can strike back. When the enemy completes a combo, the counter will increase by one. When it's time for Nathan to strike back, he can do a heavy attack by pressing the down arrow, or a fast attack by pressing the up arrow. Nathan's offensive phase will last for a few seconds. 
Heavy attacks are slower and do more damage. Fast attacks are quick, but do less damage. Beware. To chain two fast attacks, you have to press the up arrow exactly at the moment of the end of the first attack. Welcome to Blind Quest, Wayfarer. Are you ready to hear the story of Nathan the Mercenary? Well, get ready then. It's such an exciting adventure, you'll feel like you're experiencing it firsthand. Remember, I'll need your help to reach the end of the story. Stay alive, if possible. Swipe right and left to explore the environment, forward and backwards. Use double tap to examine the interactive elements. Touch with five fingers to open the pause menu. During battle, swipe up to attack. Swipe left, right or down to dodge. Tap two times to drink a healing potion and tap once to hear Nathan's health amount. After a week of smooth sailing, Nathan arrives in the port of Willow City. He notices immediately ice sheets in the waters of the harbor. A very strange thing for a city that normally has a temperate climate and lush vegetation. Instead of this, there is naked trees, icy roads and snow all over the roofs. Captain Buzzard, the vessel commander, tells Nathan that Kilius, the frost demon, cursed the city and he's using his terrible power to freeze the city. Because of this, the Ivy Queen, Willow City's governor, is looking for a champion to defeat him. Nathan thinks that it might be a good chance for him to obtain riches and glory. You have reached Port of Willow City. You opened the menu page. Nathan has 30 life points. 10 gold. Nathan reached level 1. Press double. You opened the inventory page. No items in your... Nothing. You opened your back docked ship. Port of... Willow City is famous for its port, and the trade via the sea is very important. Most of these ships are merchant vessels. Willow City... Captain Buzzard. All the captain is looking at his ship overseeing the work of two brawny men that are unloading various goods from the vessel. All the captain is looking at him. The waters of the port. This water is dirty from the oils and tar used to coat the wooden keels. Only someone mad enough to want a one-way trip to the underground would consider swimming here. This water is the horizon. On the horizon, Nathan can see the volcano island, and far, far away, many others. Each one means for him a possible new adventure. On the horizon, fisherman. A strong fisherman greets Nathan as soon as he approaches him. The man knows the mercenary well. His deeds have crossed the oceans far faster than Buzzard's ship. The fisherman hands Nathan a flute, saying it is a sign of respect. The man tells Nathan that the flute can be used to awake magical portals. It will certainly be more useful to the mercenary than to the humble fisherman. The man tells to the square. To the craft district. Docked ship. To the craft. The slow and steady sound of a hammer breaks the silence created by the snow. Many shops are closed, but some traders try to fight the cold by keeping busy. You have reached craft district. Blacksmith. A lonely blacksmith tries to work in his cold shop. Perhaps he and Nathan can help each other. 
The man says that for 50 coins and the right materials, he will be able to forge new weapons. He could start with something simple and bring him some ice buffalo horns. The man says that leather worker. A lonely leather worker tries to work in his cold shop. Perhaps he and Nathan can help each other. The man says that for 50 coins and the right materials, he will be able to forge new armor. He could start with something simple and bring him some ice buffalo hide. The man says that to the port, blacksmith to the port. The stone piers are covered by snow with only a few docked boats. The waters are covered with ice sheets. The flag of the Ivy Queen is blown by the frosty wind. You have reached docked ships. Willow City. Captain Buzz. The captain is look. The waters of the. This water is d the horizon. On the horizon. Fisherman. The man tells Nate to the square. The circular square of Willow City, with the statue of the Ivy Father King, covered by snow up to the legs. Only a few people are going somewhere, walking on the frozen porphyry pavement. You have reached Square of Willow City. Shop. The wooden door of the shop is covered by a thick layer of ice. It probably will not open soon. The wooden Ivy Father King statue. The statue of an old monarch. The snow that covers the stone figure makes it look more like a snowman than a king. The statue of Merchant. A solitary merchant sells scarfs. They are made with wool in order to keep out the cold. A solitary mer- Herdsmen. The herdsmen are very close to their sheep. The animals can keep them warm. The herd- Goods. Boxes and barrels are covered by thick snow. Boxes and ba- To the royal palace entrance. To the crossroad temple. To the port. To the entrance of Moham Abbey. Shop. To, to the royal pa- Two giant columns define the magnificent entrance of the royal palace, surmounted by a tympanum decorated with sculpted ivy leaves. Dead ivy killed by the frost is all around. You have reached royal palace entrance. Druid beggar. The druid beggar tells Nathan to go to the queen. There will be time to cover him with gold. The druid conjurer. A conjurer doing his tricks for people. He's playing the three cups game, where you have to guess under which cup the white ball is hidden. A conjurer do- Beautiful commoner girl. She is very sad. The cold is killing her family. She is very sad. Walls of the palace. The ivy on the old rocks is dried out from the frost. The ivy... Ivy bushes. Nathan rummages in the bushes. He finds a healing potion. The ivy bushes are now empty. To the palace hall. When Nathan approaches the palace hall, a guard blocks him. The mercenary isn't important enough to roam freely in the royal palace. When Nathan appro- To the throne room. To the square. Druid beggar. To- To the throne- In the middle of the daunting six stories high hall is the throne, completely composed of ivy branches and leaves. The Ivy Queen sits on it. Her skin is the bark of a tree, wearing a crown made of blue and green gems and the Ivy Necklace over the garment. 
You have reached throne room. Ivy Queen. On a glorious throne decorated with emerald vines and ruby rosebuds sits the Ivy Queen. The woman possesses an authoritarian beauty. She asks Nathan with firm kindness to help her. Nathan has already saved a kingdom. He can do it a second time. The woman with an ambiguous smile tells him that she will have an incredible reward waiting for him. Nathan's quest will start in the east. Only the old winter shaman knows how to defeat Kilius, the frost demon, but the man left years ago to the east for a pilgrimage. On a glorious throne decorated with emerald vines and ruby rosebuds sits the Ivy Queen. The woman possesses an authoritarian beauty. On a glorious statues. Hundreds of marble busts and statues of the former Ivy Kings and Queens who ruled the millennial Ivy Kingdom. Hundreds of marble busts and stat... Brocade Curtain. Behind the precious brocade curtain, Nathan finds a healing potion. Statue Brazier. A massive brazier where the fire is burning, emanating the pleasant and unexpected scent of resin. A massive... Bra Damsels. Standing near the wall are two of the queen's damsels. The older one occasionally gives the younger one nasty looks. Standing near <laughs> guard, the queen's guard. He tells Nathan that the druid beggar outside the palace always talks nonsense. But some people think it can help them in life. The queen's to the royal Muy palace tanto. entrance. Noble. The nobleman looks at Nathan in disgust. He saw him take the potion from behind the brocade curtain and thinks Nathan is a beggar. The nobleman looks to the royal palace and- You have reached Druid Beggar. A Druid Beggar asks Nathan for some coins. Nathan gives him two coins. A Druid Beggar asks Nathan for some more coins. Nathan gives him another two coins. The druid says that no one knows where the winter shaman is. Only his friend, the hermit, knows his location. A druid beggar asks Nathan for some more coins. Nathan gives him another two coins. The druid says that if Nathan is looking for the hermit, he needs to search a magnolia tree in the willow fields. The druid says to Nathan that he's tired. No more advice today. The druid says, Conjurer. A conjurer. Beautiful. She is very. Walls. The ivy. Ivy bushes. The ivy bush. To the palace hall. When Nathan approaches. To the throne. To the square. You have reached shop. The wooden door. I've the statue. Merchant. A solitary merchant. Herdsman. The herds. Goods. Boxes and ba- To the royal palace. To the crossroad. The end of the paved main road of Willow City. And the start of four earth roads leading towards the corners of the realm of the Ivy Queen. In the middle. The imposing building of the Willow Gateway, decorated with bolts plucked from defeated enemy ships in the last war. You have reached Crossroad Temple. Saving point. You saved the game. Bolts. Heavy bolts of dark iron decorate the massive door of the Willow Gateway. Heavy bolts. Milestones of the Four Roads. North, Town Square. East, Willow Fields. South, Red Cave. Upper West, Living Forest. 
Lower West, Desert of the Shadows. North, Niche. In a niche of the Willow Gateway lies a healing potion. A dark niche. A dark, strange herbs. Some rite done by a witch to disperse some evil eye. Some rite, sack. It's full of manure. It's full of big ice. It is huge, and it blocks the road to the desert. It is huge. Floating stones. Nathan approaches the floating stones. After a deep breath, he blows into the flute, which begins to vibrate. If Nathan does the same with the other portal, he could quickly travel through it. Nathan ap to the tree line of the willow fields, to the square, to the entrance of the red cave. Saving point. You to to, to floating. Nathan approaches to the tree. The wide lowland is covered with snow. The tree line is a large and dark stripe of weeping willows with their snowy top. You have reached tree line of the willow fields. Saving point. You saved the game. Rock. The rock is covered by a layer of snow. The rock is co oak tree. The gnarled trunk of the tree is covered with snow. The gnarl snow heap stained with mud. Something has soiled this immaculate snow with mud. The tracks. Something has soiled this immaculate snow with mud. The tracks seem to belong to two different creatures. Snow on the ground. The snow is thick and reflects the sunlight as if it's full of tiny glass marbles. The snow is signs in the snow. Footprints of some small animal. Footprint. Dead boar. A dead boar. Every single bone in his body seems broken. Probably killed by a snow buffalo. A powerful creature. A dead boar. To the rock monolith. To the meadow. To the crossroad temple. Saving point. You to, to the rock. A tall granite rock monolith, almost covered by snow and surrounded by blanched willow trees. Strange symbols carved on the rock. You have reached rock monolith. Corpses in prayer. A group of corpses in blue robes are genuflected in front of the monolith. They look mummified. Black man. A group of corpses in blue robes are genuflected in front of the monolith. They look mummified. Black magic always has a price. The battle begins. Ice buffalo. Enemies fast attack. Enemies heavy attack. Study enemy movements. The enemy's combo starts. Defend yourself. Zero. Damage suffered. Attack. Victory. Nathan gets gold. Two. Nathan gains experience points. One hundred twenty five. Double tap to corpse. A group of to the small river. To the magnolia tree. To the tree line of the willow fields. Corpses. To to the small. A small river runs between the willow trees, digging its trail in the snow. The ground at its edge is frozen. You have reached. Small river, willow tree. The willow tree is bent near the river. The willow tr river. It's frozen, but the water still flows under the thick layer of ice. It's frozen, loose soil. 
There's a patch of loose soil. Someone tried to hide something underground. Nathan starts digging with the help of his sword. Nathan finds a small metal box. He must try to open it. River. To the giant willow tree. To the meadow. To the rock monolith. Iron box. Willow. Iron. A small iron box. When Nathan shakes it, he can clearly hear the tinkling of coins. Nathan uses the pommel of his sword to break the lock and take the treasure. It's empty. To the rock, to, to the giant, an immensely large willow tree rises from the ground against the white sky. Its deep green canopy is floating in the cold breeze. Some small stones emerge from the snow. You have reached giant willow tree. Black stone. A glossy black stone. A glossy gray stone. A common and useless stone. A common brindle stone. A useless stone. The surface is streaked. A useless giant willow tree. For some strange reason, it looks more alive than the other willow trees. For some strange... To the foggy meadow. To the stone circle. To the small river. Black... To, to the... Between two dense lines of willow trees. A long and narrow meadow, almost hidden by fog banks. You have reached Foggy Meadow, Broken Willow Tree. An ice buffalo must have hit this tree. It's now broken in half. An ice buff buffalo manure. The meadow is full of ice buffalo manure. Nathan must be careful where he puts his feet. The meadow is magic mist. The fog that thickens in this area seems to be appreciated by buffaloes. It's clearly something supernatural. No way to go forward. The fog that th buffalo hairs. It looks like some thorns of ice. What a strange creature. It looks like the battle begins. Ice buffalo. Enemies fast attack. <laughs> Enemies heavy attack. Study enemy movements. The enemy's combo starts. Defend yourself. Nine. Damage suffered. Attack. Victory. Nathan gets gold. Two. Nathan gains experience points. One hundred twenty-five. Double tap to get broken. An ice buffalo. Buffalo. The meadow is f magic. Mi the fog that buffalo. It looks like s to the giant willow. Broken willow. To the giant willow tree. You have reached black. St A glossy black star. Gray. A common and you brindle. A useless giant for some strange. To the foggy met to the stones, twelve vertical stones arranged in a circle. Even if the snow and cold freeze the sound and odor, a terrible stench of putrefaction pollutes the air. You have reached stone circle, circle of stones. The twelve stones are arranged in a circle. They create what in magic is called a circle of power. The air cracks inside the circle. It increases. The twelve stones are arranged in a circle. They create what in magic is called a circle of power. The air cracks inside the circle. It increases the magical power in the area. A big help if you want to conquer the world or an island. The twelve. The battle begins. Undead stinking night. Enemies fast attack. 
Enemies heavy attack. <laughs> Study enemy movements. The enemy's combo starts. Defend yourself. Nine. Damage suffered. Attack! Nine. Damage done. Study enemy movements. The enemy's combo starts. Defend yourself! Zero. Damage suffered. Victory! Nathan gets gold. Fifteen. Nathan gains experience points. Five hundred. Nathan gets pewter armor. Double tapped. A massive claymore is planted in the ground. Without the sensation of pain, the undead can lift almost anything. Circle of shaking bricks. Sir, the twelve step. Shaking. Nathan approaches the shaking bricks. After a deep breath, he blows into the flute, which begins to vibrate. A warm light radiates from the portal. Now it's usable. To the giant willow circle. To the giant willow tree. You have reached blacks. A glossy gray. A common and brindle. A use giant willow. For some to the foggy me To the stone. To the small river. You have re willow tree. The willow tree river. It's frozen. To the giant. To the meadow. To the rock mo iron box. It's empty. To, to the the meadow is a white snow plain with ice heaps and some rocks emerging from the gloomy whiteness. You have reached meadow. A dead bush. This bush was killed by the frostbite. This bush, ice heaps. Some large heaps of ice. Maybe there's something beneath the snow. But Nathan died. Some large heaps of ice. Maybe there's something beneath the snow. But Nathan doesn't have the time to start digging right now. Some large smooth rock. A round rock emerges from the snow. A round rock. Sharp rock. A pointy rock. It's not natural. Someone cuts the stone to make an edge. A point. Snow. No signs on it. And now it's more similar to ice than rock. No sign. To the small river. To the green hill. To the tree line of the willow fields. A dead boat. To the to the a green hill emerges from the whiteness of the snow. On it, a big dark tree with a giant black canopy. Frozen plants around it. You have reached Green Hill. Dark tree trunk. Too smooth to climb it. Too smooth. Dark tree canopy. Too high to reach the leaves. Too hot. Snow heap on the left. Black leaves have fallen from the canopy, from the weight of the snow. Nathan collects some of them. Black leaves. Black leaves have fallen from the canopy, from the weight of the snow. Frozen clematis. A beautiful flower, now frozen. Nathan touches one of the petals. It disintegrates on touch. A beautiful flower, now frozen. Nathan touches one of the... Grass. The grass is strangely untouched by the snow in this area. The black tree must be a powerful entity. The grass is strangely... To the meadow. Dark. To the meadow.
You have re- A dead bush. This bush was killed by the fro- Ice he- Some lo- Smooth. Around. Sharp. A point. Snow. No sign. To the small riv- To the green. To the small river. You have re- Willow. The willow tree is be- River. It's frozen. To the giant. To the meadow. To the rock- Iron. It's empty. To the rock monolith. You corpses. A group of corp- The battle begins. Ice buffalo. Enemies fast attack. Enemies heavy attack. <coughs> Study enemy movements. The enemy's combo starts. Defend yourself. Four. Damage suffered. Attack! Victory! Nathan gets gold. Two. Nathan gains experience points. One hundred twenty. Five. Nathan gets ice horn. Buffalo hide. Double tap to corpses. A group of to the small to the magnolia. Against the embankment of a low hill, there is a magnolia tree and a small hut built with timbers and rags. A dead campfire and a hermit shivering from the cold. You have reached magnolia tree. Hermit. The old man is too cold. He needs to warm up. He shakes like an autumn leaf and coughs repeatedly. The old man to the rock mo hermit to the rock monolith. You have re corpse a group to the small river. You have re willow this tree river willow the willow tree is bent near the river. The willow tree is bent river it's frozen but the wall to the giant willow. To, to the giant willow tree. Black stone. A glossy black stone, smooth to the touch. A second look reveals to Nathan that it is, in fact, obsidian. Nathan uses his sword on the stone in order to create a flint. A glossy black stone. A glossy grace. A common and useless Brindle, a useless stone. Giant willow tree. For some strange reason, it looks more alive than to the foggy meadow. You have re- Broken willow. An ice buffalo must have hit this tree. It's now broken in half. Nathan takes advantage of it to get a log of wood. An ice buffalo must have hit this tree. It's now broken in half. An ice bu buffalo manure. The meadow is f magic mist. The fog that thickens buffalo hairs. It looks like some. The battle begins. Ice buffalo. Enemies fast attack. Enemies heavy attack. Study enemy movements. The enemy's combo starts. Defend yourself. Nine. Damage suffered. Attack! Victory! Nathan gets gold. Two. Nathan gains experience points. One hundred twenty. Five. Nathan increases his experience level. Double tap to c You opened the menu page. Nathan has forty five life points. Seventy seven gold. Nathan reached level two. Press double. You opened the inventory page. You selected three healing potion. The glass ampoule contains a red liquid. Swipe up one pewter armor. It stinks. One giant claymore. A long two handed sword. Used by warriors from ages gone by. One. Black leaves. 
These black leaves give off a dark aura. When Nathan touches them, all sounds become muffled. One, ice horn. These horns appear to be made of very hard ice, but they don't melt. One, buffalo hide. The thick hide protected the buffalo from cold and enemy attacks. Two, log. A plain piece of wood. It burns well. One, flint. Made of obsidian. Rubbed on a rock. It produces sparks. Nothing. You opened your back broken willow, foggy meadow. Buffalo, broken, an ice buffalo. Buffalo, the meadow is magic mist. The fog, the buffalo hair. It looks like some. To the giant willow tree. Broken willow tree. To the giant willow tree. You have re. Black. A glossy. Gray. A common. Brick. A useless. Giant. For some strength. To the foggy. To the stone. To the small river. You have re. Willow. The willow tree. River. It's frozen. To the giant. To the meadow. You have re. A dead bush. This bush was killed by the frostbite. The trunk is thick and kind of dry. Nathan uses his sword to cut the bush. Now Nathan has one piece of wood to light the campfire. This bush was killed by the frostbite. Ice heaps. Some large heaps of smooth rock. A round rock. A sharp rock. A point. Snow. To the snow, no sun. To the small, to the green hill. You have re- Dark. Too smooth to cl- Dark. The canopy is kind of elegant, with the juxtaposition of black leaves and white snow. But Nathan isn't an artist or a poet. The canopy is kind of- Snow heap. Black leaves have frozen clement. A beautiful grass. The grass is strangely un- To the meadow, dark. To the meadow. You have re- A dead- This bush was- Ice heat. Some la- Smooth rock. A round rock. Sharp rock. A pointy rock. Snow. No sign. To the small river. You have reached- Iron bo Willow. The willow tr River. It's frozen. To the giant- To the meadow. To the rock monolith. Corpses. A group of... The battle begins. Ice buffalo. Enemies fast attack. Enemies heavy attack. Study enemy movements. The enemy's combo starts. Defend yourself. Nine. Damage suffered. Attack! Victory! Nathan gets gold. Two. Nathan gains experience points. One hundred twenty five. Double tap to get corpse. A group of to the small to the magnolia tree. You have reached hermit. Nathan creates a campfire with the log and the flint. The hermit thanks him. The hermit places a pot on the campfire and uses it and the materials gathered by Nathan to create the Mistborn potion. He gives it to Nathan. The hermit places to the rock mo hermit to the rock monolith. You have re to the tree line of the willow fields. You have to the crossroad temple. You have re to, to the square. You have re- To the port. To the craft district. You have re- Blacksmith. Great! In a short time, the blacksmith forges a longsword for Nathan, who takes it, satisfied. Nathan has brought the sword back, and it looks great. But the blacksmith won't fix it for free. He wants 50 coins. 
Nathan has brought the sword back, and it looks great. Leatherwork. The man says that for fifty to the port. You have re to the cr to the square. Fisherman. To the square. You have re to, to the to the crossroad temple. You have re to 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 the tree line of the willow fields. You have re to the rock monolith. You have re to to the small river. You have re willow the willow tree. River. It's frozen. To the giant willow tree. You have re black. A glossy bl gray. A common grin. A useless giant for some strip to the foggy meadow. You have re broken an ice buffalo. M buffalo manure. The meadow is buffalo. It looks like the battle begins. Ice buffalo. Enemies fast attack. Enemies heavy attack. Study enemy movements. The enemy's combo starts. Defend yourself! Twelve. Damage suffered. Victory! Nathan gets gold. Two. Nathan gains experience points. One hundred twenty five. Double tap to con. Broke an ice buffalo. The meadow buffalo. It looks to the giant willow tree. To the entrance of the misty valley. Even through the wide plain of the valley, the multicolored mists cover everything, including the sky. You have reached the entrance of the Misty Valley. Saving point. You saved the game. Multicolor mist. The otherworldly mist surrounds Nathan. Thanks to the potion, he can see about ten paces in front of him without being killed. The other world. Malicious laughter. An evil, high pitched laugh like the kind babies would make, mocks Nathan. The most An evil, high-pitched laugh, like the kind babies would make, 